So this is a little app called DNS Changer. It is open source and free. And I have been using this for almost a year or two now. But I think I have found a better DNS changer. And this is the one. Yeah, the name is same. It is also called DNS changer. And in my opinion, it looks amazing. And it is, you know, it looks cool and does the same thing uh, as this one. But the new DNS changer actually supports multiple platforms, Windows, Linux and Mac. First of all, both of them are completely free and open source program. The only difference here is that the new DNS changer that I found, it supports Linux, Mac and Windows and also gets frequent update. It was updated three weeks ago. So yeah, it's in active development. And the other one was updated like in 2021 which is like almost two years ago. It looks simple, minimalistic, and looks beautiful, all right? <laughs> now, how to use this? Really simple, actually. This is the home page here. It shows you the connected DNS server address, and it shows you the status. It also shows you the ping. And uh, if you go to the Explore tab here, you can actually explore more DNS servers and you can add them to your favorite by just clicking on the plus icon, just like that. It also shows you which you know DNS server is good for you because it gives you the benchmark here. Now, to change the DNS server, you simply click on this box here where it says Google. It says Google because I have set the Google DNS server. So if I select Cloudflare, you can see it is now disconnected. Now you simply click on connect. It is now connected and you can see I'm getting the eight ping, sometimes six, 10, yeah. So whichever DNS server has the lowest ping, you have to choose that. That's all you have to know. And that DNS server will give you the best and stable internet connection. And you don't actually have to keep open this app. You can close this out because it actually configured the DNS server into the settings. Here you can see in the settings where you have to set up the DNS server, it has set the uh, Cloudflare DNS server. So that's what it does. And just in case if you don't know how to set up the DNS server, you can simply use this application to change the DNS server with one click. And actually this is the main reason why I use the DNS changer apps because setting up the DNS server in Windows is like time con consuming. You have to go deep into the network settings and change it. Sometimes some DNS servers goes down, they don't work. If they don't work, you have that DNS server active on your system, your internet will also not work. So simply using this app, you can also see which DNS servers are working because of the ping, it will give you the benchmark ping there. If you see the ping, that means it's working. If you don't see the ping, that means it's not working. And you can just connect to any DNS server with one click. I have started using this almost a week ago and I like it. Yeah, this is my new DNS changer. Uh, if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.